My name is Joey Wright and I am a South Florida based swimwear photographer. For this tutorial, we came all the way down to Curacao in the Caribbean, found the coolest spots to shoot at, and have really intentionally put ourselves in a nice variety of situations. I've sat in a cubicle for many years uh, when I was doing graphic design, and uh, this is definitely uh, quite, quite the dream. We found this amazing house on the water in Curacao and it actually held the entire crew of 11 people. And although the majority of the lessons were taught around the island at different beaches and different locations, we were able to film a lot at the house just because the property was so amazing. Good, look at the sun, close your eyes, bring the hand up, good. Good, I like that, stretch the legs, stretch the legs. We got shots with both the harsh direct sun hitting Lisa from straight above and with the cloud coverage giving her a little extra shade and softening the shadows. And honestly, I'm really happy with both shots. This is not about the stuff you can learn in your camera manual. This is about everything else that happens in front of the camera and posing and you know communicating, having a real reason for everything you do just to get one shot. Good, all right, Lisa, and take a look at me and let's try a shot like this. I like that actually much better. I think she's still got some nice shadows uh, just on the cheek that are creating some depth. So she's not totally flat looking, which could easily happen if we just put too much light on her. One of the amazing things about photography in general, and I think uh, a part of why it's so addicting to so many of us, it is really this cool uh, sort of combination of problem solving and creating. So what I wanna do is bring the reflector in. So Chris, let me have you slowly Hit her with the light so we can see that. Good. Okay, now you guys can clearly see the difference with Chris bringing the light on and off of her. I'm gonna go ahead and snap some stills to get the shot I want. Probably the most common um, mistake is a photographer who thinks that the model is just supposed to do her job. And if she does her job and I do my job, we get great images. But part of a photographer's job really is directing the model. Joey really wanted to teach a lesson on posing and I thought that would be pretty simple, but it wound up going for over an hour and a half. And after watching it, it's probably the most valuable lesson in this entire tutorial. We're sort of like their coach, their mirror in a sense uh, that they are you know, looking to for feedback throughout the shoot. I could go ahead and snap a few photos of Lisa in this position. Lisa, let's maybe bring your hands up toward the face. Good. Bring your chin up a little bit, great. Look over your shoulder, behind you. Awesome, eyes at me again, great. So I would be snapping through all of those. One of the cool things about the locations that we traveled to for this shoot was that we didn't just stay on the beach because we knew going into this that, you know, yes, there are plenty of people that are interested in how it's done on the beach, but not everybody has access to a beach. So we took the swimwear inland at times and just shot in some really cool unique places. This would be a great time to switch over to high speed continuous shutter mode where I can just hold down and maybe fire off a little burst of three shots at a time. So you'll probably hear as I shoot uh, in, in just these cases of movement, pop, pop, pop. I'll get a few shots at a time for each move. So let's go ahead and do that. Good. While my main niche is swimmer photography, I do other jobs in fashion from time to time, and I can tell you that my techniques don't change just because I'm going from shooting on the beach to shooting in a studio. So even though we will be shooting models in swimwear for these lessons, the techniques really truly apply to all genres of photography. I thought it would be cool to get a shot overhead, sort of a bird's eye view of this really unique texture Unfortunately, we lost the sun. So since we didn't catch that and we're just not here for it, we're gonna fake it. I'm gonna do so using just one speed light. I think everything is in place to get our shot. 
We never expected this, but this tutorial has actually become the longest tutorial we have ever made. It's about 20 hours in length, eight hours on location going through how Joey takes the pictures, how he lights, how he poses, and then 12 hours back on the computer going through all of his post-processing techniques. Some of Lisa's bathing suit. If I zoom in a little bit, you can see it. Watch the bathing suit. See that? Now, it might not bother you what it's doing to the bathing suit, uh, but if I wanna just get rid of that, I'm gonna go ahead and alt-click the mask again. Here's a little quick tip when you're working with a brush in the mask mode. Um, if you switch the blend mode down to overlay, and I just start cleaning up on it, it'll, it'll get rid of that gray area uh, that I, I wanna hide, which is you know part of the suit. Um, but it won't do is really affect a white area of the photo. Anybody who gets this tutorial will have a bunch of the raw files, so if they would like to work alongside me, they'll be able to do so. Or what they could even do is work on that raw file after they watch the tutorial and just maybe without working alongside me, see how close they get to mine. With the mesh, what we can do is kind of start to warp the angle of this by dragging these handles and we can kind of better fit um, what's going on below it. Now it's hard to see with that layer in the way, so let's just take the opacity and just bring that down to about, let's say somewhere around 50%. One of my biggest goals when it comes to post-processing and, and working in Photoshop and doing my retouching is that my images retain their natural feel. If I'm using natural light and I'm in a really just nice, beautiful, natural location, the last thing I want to do is come in and just butcher it in Photoshop and create some image that just screams Photoshop. I'm going to be careful because it looks like there are some areas, and I didn't even touch this, that, that maybe had a little too much makeup and. Uh, maybe there was a little camera blur, so I'm going to grab my sharpen tool again and just kind of bring back some texture. So again, the focus of this is all texture, but sometimes we need to add texture into an image. Not only do you get to watch Joey meticulously edit each and every photo, but you also get all of his presets and his actions that he spent his entire career creating. This is what you guys will get. Uh, to download and it will include all of these menu settings, my tool settings, all that stuff. Now another thing that you guys will get and you'll see here that's a little different perhaps on my screen are my actions and my tool presets. I was really interested in hearing Joey's perspective on the business side of swimwear photography. I know so many photographers want to do it but so few can actually make a living with it. So I sit down with Joey and we have this very casual conversation where we discuss the entire swimwear industry. Okay. So that's the goal is to get better clients and having a model as your client, well, their pockets are only so deep. Uh, you're not gonna pull more than you know what I'm getting out of a test shoot essentially. And, and maybe in California, you'll get less. In New York, you can get more, but your cost of living is way more too. So, um, you know, in different markets, those prices change. Through this entire process, it was kind of fun. The entire team had a camera rolling and we captured some really fun moments. And so we have made a full length behind the scenes video that you will also get with your download. Just like all of our other tutorials, this is a digital download, so once you buy it, you'll instantly get links to start downloading it. All those files are HD and unlocked, so you can watch them on any platform. Another perk that you're going to get for buying this is you will be invited to a secret Facebook group with Joey and everyone else who purchased the tutorial. You'll get one-on-one -on -one help from Joey himself. I think after watching this, people, you know, whether they haven't gotten into photography at all or if they've been doing it for you know, a few years, We'll be really surprised to see how much detail goes into every step of one of these shoots. So at this point, we have orbited around Shayna 180 degrees. We've made a half circle, so we really have gotten all angles of the light. Let's see a comparison of all those positions side by side. It was really important for our team to produce the most comprehensive tutorial on all things swimwear photography. To learn more about this entire tutorial, head over to fstoppers.com slash stores.